In a previous episode, I bought these reaction figures at a local toy show, and there's two of them that I'm going to focus on in this video. First, it's this Snakeling. And the other figure I got was this G.I. Joe soldier. And other than the soldier being a female figure, there's something interesting about them that I want to focus on today. So let's take a look. Taking a look at these figures out of the packaging, we can see that there's not much to them, but they are just kind of background characters from the Sunbow animation. And the Snakeling here on the left, they got some pretty nice paint details with the Cobra symbol and the symbol on top of his hat. I did find a clip of this character in the cartoon. We'll take a look at that now. Hey, you know what we're doing? You're supposed to be earning your pay, Snakeling. Now get to work. Uh, Snake guys still have his mask on. I think that's ridiculous. But I do find that this Snakeling kind of looks like Shipwreck. Now, there is quite a few variations of these figures. The first thing is that they did come with a lot of different skin tones, facial hair, and different weapons so you can collect all of those different ones I picked this one um, because I only had an option of two or three versions and I liked this the looks of this guy's beard so yeah you can look at the paintwork here it's pretty minimal five points of articulation if you've been watching my videos and watching my reviews of these figures you will see that there's not a lot going on here and if you're used to the GI Joe three and three quarter original figures and the classifieds, you may think that these are, you know, minimal and not worth purchasing. But the fact that I got them for $15 Canadian, I'm happy with that purchase. And I think they look great on the shelf. Taking a look at the G.I. Joe Soldier, she is female. Again, lots of different versions of this figure. I got the red hair with the ponytail, and she also comes with a lot of different weapons, different hairstyles, and skin tones. The one thing that I didn't like about this figure is that she doesn't hold the gun very well. Her hand is made a little differently than the male figures, and she can't really grip it and hold it very well, like straight. But if you look at this figure, she looks cool and she's going to be cool in uh, the collection uh, as a background character. She definitely was in one of the cartoons too, but I couldn't find uh, any videos of her uh, from the cartoon. But I know that she is. If you look at the card artwork here in a minute, we will see that the artwork from the card is from the Sunbow animation. I find that the artwork for both of these figures is not very good. <laughs> it just looks like this figure, he's supposed to be running. It doesn't look like he's in motion. It just looks like he's standing on one foot with his gun across his chest. The artwork kind of reminds me of these fun school figures that I have here in my collection. There's just something off about it. Looking at the file card, he's a snakeling and he's a cobra recruit and you can see that the artwork here is from the Sunbow animation this is taken from a shot from the cartoon that we saw earlier but what I find really interesting about these file cards is you can fill in the file name and the birthplace and the only figures that Hasbro did that back in the 80s and 90s, I believe, is Steel Brigade. You could fill in the form and send it away, and they would give you a file card with all that information that you customized for yourself. So you can make him a figure of your own. And later on, in 1993, they made a Name Your Own Create a Cobra figure. So I think that this is really unique for these and because these two figures were not the only army builders that Super 7 made these are the only two army builders that they made that allows you to fill in these details for yourself and here's the G.I. Joe soldier she's the combat engineer and you can see how the air work is kinda lame here but on the back we can fill in the file name and the birthplace you can tell that the animation of the picture on the file card does come from the Sunbow. She looks to me like Lady J, actually. I really like this option. I'm happy that they did it. In 
in conclusion, I think these figures are really cool. I'm happy I have them in my collection. I really like how they made the file cards. I would like to get some more variants. That would be great. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. Thanks for watching Toys Bag Zen, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, I thank you for subscribing to my channel. Check out the rest of my videos. I have over 160 videos in my catalog of repairs, reviews, and toy hauls. Thanks for watching. See ya.